Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, you guessed it, we're looking at Topaz Studio 2 again. On today's episode, we're looking at the color overlay filter. So let's get started. Well, we have this lovely image of some horses here. This is a stock image and I thought I would use this one because this particular uh, overlay filter is a good one for adding tinting to your images. Uh, it's great for black and white images where you want to add some tint to the black and white images. So let's take a look at it. First off, let's come up to add filter and come down to down to this creative section here. Uh, we've looked at bloom, blur, channel mixer, and now color overlay. So let's give it a click and here we go. Now you notice when I've done that, uh, we got how we see how this image has changed here and it's kind of like light. And let's just take a look and see why this is so. Well, let's look here where it says color overlay. Of course, we have our opacity, we have our blend modes, and we have our presets. Uh, we can save presets by clicking on this icon after we've made our adjustments. We can get rid of the filter by clicking the trash can. And we have this little drop down menu here. It says color. First off, let's look at opacity. Now you'll notice it's defaulted at 0.30. Uh, and that is basically blending this color right here, this creamy white color over top of the image here. Now, if I take the slider and move it the whole way to the right, watch what happens. All you're going to see is just that color on your image. Okay, and so that's why they have it defaulted there, so you can get an idea of what something like this may look like. So let's just pull it down around where they had it. Let's take a look at apply presets because here this is going to give us an idea of what we can do with this particular overlay filter. So let's click apply preset and we have a bunch of different presets here. Let's click on some of these and I also want you to uh, take a notice of these blend modes, how they change when I click these presets. Let's click on amber. All right. And you see how the image changed and that looks really nice. I'm going to click in the center of the image. There's a before and after. So you see that adds a beautiful little tone to our image and I really like that. That's really cool. But notice the blend mode is in the darkened blend mode. Now let's click on the blend modes here and we see we have all these different blend modes and you can hover over these blend modes and see how they affect your image. And don't be afraid to hover over these blend modes and look because you might find a blend mode that you really like, like the overlay blend mode looks really nice here and the soft light, the hard light's not bad either. So you have all these different blend modes and then you have color here. But let's continue to look through these presets. Okay, here's one called Brighton. Ooh, that doesn't look so good, right? All right, so let's not use that one. They're not all going to work. Let's look at cool shadows. Cool shadows, and absolutely, the shadows are cool. And let's look at cool. Okay, that's cool. And let's look at dark. Okay, we're using kind of a dark brown sienna type color here. And let's look at green grass. All righty. It's almost like a black, but it's probably a real dark green. Let's look at uh, milky white. Okay, and that adds a nice faded out look to our image. That looks nice, and that's in the soft light blend mode. Again, take a notice of the different blend modes. Let's look at red cast. That's in a soft light blend mode. That's pretty. That looks really nice with this image. All right, so that's our preset. So let's go up here to color overlay and click on this little uh, reset icon right here. So let's click this and get us back to where we were in the original. Now, let me take the opacity slider the whole way up because I want to show you something here. We come to the color uh, drop down here and let's give that a click. And when we do, notice what happens. We get this little uh, color wheel that comes up here. But watch, watch this. This is really neat. On this color wheel, see this little target right here? It might look a little different on a uh, Windows machine, but it's going to have something similar. So you, you'll get the hang of it when you click on this. So let's just take this target and move it around. Notice how I can change these colors. Isn't that cool? I have all these different colors that I can come into. Like there's my blues, here's my cyans, greens, yellows, reds. Okay, somewhere in there. Let's leave it there. And then you have this slider here. Now this is how light or dark you can make this particular uh, color right here. So let's move this slider to the right. You notice how the image gets darker and darker and darker. All right, so that's pretty cool. So this is very important right here. Let me uh, click the little X here and get rid of that for now. Alrighty, so now let's go back. Well, let's leave the opacity up full way here. And let's change a blend mode. I think a blend mode that works a lot, a very popular blend mode would be overlay. Let me explain some very soft, or I didn't mean to say very soft. Let me explain some uh, kind of popular blend modes. 
Overlays are very popular blend modes, soft light, hard light, vivid light. Um, and then, of course, screen and multiply is another good blend mode. Now, they won't work for all images and all colors, but you got to play with them. But those are the popular ones. Dark and sometimes will work too, and linear burn, possibly. Okay, so let's start at normal here. So let's find a color that we might think would work with this image. So let's take a, let's go for like a, like a sepia type color here. Maybe right around in here, but let's darken it up by moving this slider over. Okay, into the darker tones. And let's see if I can find something. Yeah, that's kind of like a, a brownish sepia type color. Somewhere in there. So let me set it there and let me just click OK. Now let's come over here and go, go to the blend modes. And let's just hover down through. Here's multiply. All right. And take note that I'm at 100% here. So I can also pull this opacity slider back and I'll show you. But let's say we like multiply, but we say, oh, it's too dark. So let's click multiply. Let's take our opacity slider and just pull it back. Isn't that cool? So you can find a spot and you might say, oh, that looks really, really cool. But what would it look like with some different colors? All right. So you can come here to color. Click on color again. That little color wheel comes back up again. Now watch this. Take this little target here and move it around. Isn't that cool? You can come through and go through all the different colors. You want cool tones, cyan tones, green, probably not, but maybe some yellows and back into our more cyan type colors. So you can move that around and don't forget, you also have this luminance slider here so you can make that look darker or that color lighter, depending what look you're looking for. So maybe somewhere around in there. And when you uh, tint an image like this, a lot of times, you could add a nice texture on top of that and it would look really good. We're not getting into the texture filter yet, but we'll be getting into that in the future. But let's say we like that right there. So let's just click OK. So that's kind of how that works. Now we can come here again. And let's play around with our different blend modes. OK, so there's light and there's screen. Color dodge and just go through them and see what you like. I do like the overlay and I do like soft light. Hard light is kind of interesting. Vivid light gives us a nice amber type color, linear light. So just go through these different ones and you might find something you really like. Now, you might go to linear light and say, oh, you know, that looks really reddish and way over the top. But let's click it and let's take the opacity. Don't forget, we can pull it back. Okay, so we might say, you know what? I like it right there. That looks really cool. So... That's basically how the color overlay works. Uh, and I know you'll find a use for it. Now I'm going to show you something else a little different with a black and white image. Let's go ahead and get rid of this overlay filter. Let's come up here to the overlay layer and click on the trash can. That gets rid of it. Because I want to convert this image to a black and white. And I've showed you the black and white filter already. So let's come up to add filter and revisit the black and white. So let's just click on black and white. And just for time's sake, let's come to the presets and... Let's just pick one of these presets. Um, let's go with, let's try dark and smooth. That looks pretty nice. Let's just accept that. So now let's come up to add filter. Let's add color overlay. And that looks kind of neat, you know, depending what kind of a look you're looking for. This might look nice with some text over it for a book or something like that. That's pretty cool. All right. So. Basically, what I want to show you here is how you can use the color over, overlay to uh, tint your uh, black and white images, like, you know, your sepia looking images or maybe a cool look or something like that. So let's start with the default setting here and come to the color uh, drop down right here. Give that a click and let's let's find a color. Let's go. Let's go back into the sepia tones. And you notice when I do that, you see it change on the image right there. So that looks nice. Now, that is just a plain uh, color washing over the image. Okay, so it softens the image down, and that's a cool look sometimes. Sometimes I will just use it in the normal blend mode. Generally, I'm using different blend modes, mainly like soft light, overlay, multiply, things like that. But you can use the normal blend mode and get a real nice soft image like this, and that is really nice. So let's click OK. So now let's come over and let's look at some blend modes here. And before I do, I'm going to take this opacity and take the hoi to the right. Okay, the horses go away. We'll be back to your horses, so just hang in there. All right, so we're going to come to the uh, blend mode drop down, give that a click, and let's come through some of these blend modes. There's darken, not working for me. Here's multiply, kind of nice. Color burn, 
Uh, you know, right there, it doesn't look real good, but let, let's just play with this one. Let's click Color Burn on, and let's just pull the opacity back. Ooh, yeah, that looks really nice. And this is your world, guys, and you can play around and look, you know, get creative. You're never going to get creative unless you try things and move sliders around, try different colors. So now let's go to color here. And let's say, hmm, what if we lighten this up a little bit? Or darken it, I should say. I'm going darker. And I'm not really liking that, so I'm coming the whole way to light. But let me change the, uh, the tint here. Go into the pink tints, more into the yellows. It looks kind of neat in the yellows. And then let's pull, pull down here a little bit, draining off some of that color. So, oh, well, that looks kind of nice. That, that's really beautiful. I really like that. Now, let me click OK. Now, imagine this, as I was saying earlier, Imagine putting a nice texture over here. You could get yourself a really nice, beautiful image, something that you could sell and make some money on. So really cool, right? So this is the overlay filter. This is an application where we're using black and white and adding a tint to it. But what if we wanted another tint? What if we wanted some uh, cool tones? So let me just click down into the cool tones here. And let's just say OK for now. We can always come back and change that. Let's change this blend mode from color burn to, say, maybe overlay or soft light. Mm, let's say, I'm going to say soft light. And don't be afraid to go down there. There's hard light. There's vivid light. And you might say, well, that's really too blue. But remember, if, you, if I pull that opacity slider back, let's do it. Hard light, pull the opacity slider back. As you can see, I can just add a little bit. And that is quite beautiful. So let's pull it up the whole way and let's find, well, I'm not doing colors. Sorry about that. Um, let's find another blend mode. Let's do overlay this time. And now let's take our opacity and just pull that back a little bit. And you might say, that's looking pretty good right there, but I'm not quite sold on that color. So just come and click on the color and maybe make it a little less blue. So I pull it up this way a little bit. Or you might say, yeah, I'm going to go, what it would look like with a little magenta in there. That's kind of really nice. What if we wanted to go more into the sepias, more into the more redder tones? Come up and get some orange here. Maybe pull that back. So as you can see, and then you have this slider here. Don't forget, we can make that darker like that. And that looks really beautiful. So, and when you've got the color you like, just click OK. And that is the overlay filter. I'm a big fan of this overlay filter. I think it's really awesome, and I hope you really give it a try. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Well, if you like this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. That way you'll be informed of all the new videos I'm putting out. Well, thanks again, everyone, for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with yours truly, Dave Kelly, and I will see everyone here next time.